Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival of this, and we return to our Hemeldal Expeditions in the Hunter Classic. So last weekend, we got ourselves... Actually, let me bring up the map first. That's probably better to explain. We went from the Southern Lodge out across Old Mountains and that and put a tent way into, like, this central area. So now we have access for these next weekends, north, south, and east. I'm kind of thinking of wanting to work up north. Or maybe I'll double back south. Maybe I'll double back south, because we were getting a bit of action from, like, the road year, and maybe we'll get a chance at more, uh, blinkses that way. But I also do have to change our loadout a little bit, because we now don't have to worry about, like, having the tent with us. I just gotta give this a moment. Okay, here we go. We can actually bring along our shotgun and try for some ptarmigan if we do come across them. There we go. One stack should be enough there. I think eight shots will be enough for the bullpup. Do I? I actually don't have more, so it'll have to do for the weekend. Uh, two, four, three, just in case. Yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go with that. Okay, let's load up and then see about heading out. And actually, interesting conditions to be going out in right now, too. Bit of a snowstorm blowing over. Okay, yeah, so let's work our way directly south and just... Keep our ears open for anything we'll come across. I would kind of like to get lucky and get a Eurasian Lynx or two, but with comments last week, it definitely sounds like they're going to be the most elusive animal for the map. They are very slow to come in with the e-caller, and like how I kind of bumped almost into one. Oh, what do we got to start? That's... I'm actually kind of surprised at where it is. Like, it's basically just before... Ah, uh, the border of the reserve. Yeah, I'm just going to keep a look out for it, see if I can see it coming in. But I also thought with, like, the dead zone around the lodges, that should apply. I thought it would apply to the tent as well, but maybe it doesn't. I guess it kind of has to not apply for this to even be possible. Yeah, let me just keep looking around, try to see if I can spot it. And I think the 243 is actually ethical for it. And I have two stacks of... I do have two stacks of 243, so I might even want to use that to save the, uh, bullpup ammo. I really should call it a 7mm, or the 7 Magnum, or no, 7mm. I mean, technically it is 7mm Magnum, I'm just being asinine over the, uh, classification of it. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, so far, like, for as close as it sounded, I'm not really seeing movement to... know where it is. Nope. Wait, that's a different one that replied. Oh god, the other one's a female, but the male just came. Yeah, there he is. And just one shot and immediately stopped in his tracks. At least we're going to get something in nice and early starting this weekend. I do want to try switching things up, because I think we've got... How many road years was it last weekend? Four? I... I think four could have even been three. The Hunter Classic has been a weird one, because you can easily lose track of everything you kind of do in it with how long it goes on. Uh, yeah, probably a decent average looking one. Let's see how you score. Ooh, that one. Actually, pretty good score for a... Well, a decent score for a road year. I'm just surprised it went through the neck and then the uh, lung, too. I don't think we'll trophy shot it, though. We'll just take it and go. We've had so many road years from last weekend, we are good to try changing it up and trying to find other animals. Yeah, 243. Going to try to use that if there are any more rows. That way I can keep the uh, bull pup for reindeer, moose, or brown bear. We'll just kind of try looking around. I do want to stay up into the higher ground more, though. 
I feel like as we're above, we have much better chance of spotting things out from afar. And we don't have to try working through like folded foliage and trees and bushes and crap. With how we were, again, so close to that lynx last weekend and we just could not see it at all. It makes me think if we can have the high ground and we come across a call from one, we can get a much better chance of seeing it, even if it's way off with having the high ground. I'm kind of curious what else we might come across in the southern areas. Like, I think the brown bears... Not sure what the heck I just heard there. Nothing came off as a call. I was going to say, though, I think the... Uh, brown bears can be all across the mountains, so it's not like they're only in the north and west. But I don't know about, like, other species. Like, there's reindeer, there are foxes. We'll just have to kind of take some time going around and see. But I do think we are set up to have, uh... The Hamilton expeditions kind of end off with every hunt going from the tent now. Like, we'll cover a lot of the southern area this weekend. We can cover a lot of the north next weekend. And then we can kind of work along the east and... Actually, looking out east, yeah, that could be a, l a lot of good opportunities going along to the east. We'll keep working south, though, again. Just try to cover as much as we can with the Expedition Series. And then once we are done that, we have that one weekend of checking in on the Magpie Goose setup, expanding that out with however much GM I've got. And then after that... We are in for a bit of a change of pace to try tackling the Way of the Hunter. I am very curious to see about that one. It's kind of a debate you get into on, do you want to kind of spoil yourself to know what it's like watching videos on that beforehand, or do you decide to say, let's go in blind and just try it out and see what it's like. It's so easy nowadays to just get a informed opinion because there's probably so many videos or ways to know more information about a game which can be helpful if you're not sure about trying to pick one up or not. But if you do want to have the, like, just blind enjoyment of new game, it get, definitely gets impacted if you do that stuff. Yeah, we can see pretty far down. I think that might be out of render range to see the animals at, so... We'll just keep working out around here. Might actually not be a bad idea to, uh, there's the draw thing. Just follow along the edge of the border there. And then I could even work and get us up to that little point of interest there. But this way I should know there's not really anything going B to our right side. I can focus more on the left. And just stop and glass around every so often using our binoculars. No, oh, we do have tracks from... Actually, it might be a herd of something. There is quite a few tracks in this one area. Now, that sounded like a... little breath from something. Okay, road ear. Uh, more road ear. Actually, this might have been a... Oh, that's what I heard. I don't know if you're a male or a female. Okay, you're a female. So I'm just going to try to... See, I don't know if she's all on her own, because it sounded like there was another breath more from my right. But it seems like she might be... Like... More apart from... Okay, no, I maybe she's leading the group. It still sounds like there's something... Yeah, they made quite a bit of sound as they're... Oh. Okay, no, I'm pretty sure that's just that female again. I like how I can just spot the eye, but that still registers. But there's sometimes where you can clearly see the animal, 
but just doesn't register at all. So that might be what Danger Floof was kind of talking about uh, in the comments last weekend, where you almost have... They don't always have mixed herds of the reindeer. Sometimes it is just a complete female group, and then there's almost like an alpha female that gets selected that everything follows along behind. I don't hear or see anything else, though, so... I am leaning to thinking it was just a group of females passing through. There's at least two. I might have been third and one is just behind me. But what I can do is now that they've probably trotted off a bit of a distance, let's just follow up behind them and try to get a view down to where they're going. I was quite surprised to see how quickly they trotted in and moved off. And then there's still this group of roe deers going the same direction we are. So let me just get along and see if I can spot the reindeer. They might even be... Uh, maybe not. They'd have a lot of ground to cover. If they do like those little stops... I'll just take a look down there. I think that's kind of where they were going. Yeah, see, there's another, like, little breath or huff or something. I think it was more down that way. But I can't see them at all now. Okay, well, it was just a group of females, so we can probably leave them be. I might actually... No, new trail, probably just, yeah, reindeer tracks, of course. I'll probably follow this along. It looks like this actually comes out to, like, a little peak around the surrounding area. So this will let me look down into that valley to see what's there. Oh, actually, maybe they didn't go out to the uh, east like I was thinking. Maybe they kind of hit that slope and then went down. We are getting some mission objectives, though. I don't know if I'll really focus on trying to get one done or not, but yeah, I'll just keep working and see what we come across. This is a good sign to know reindeer are still something that we might come across more in the south. And I think I hear ptarmigan, so you know what? I'm going to switch this out. Load this up to be ready. Because it was like that chirping almost. It's different than the ambient birds. And it sounds like there's almost like more direction behind it. But oh, look at the view we've got from up here. Yeah, see that little thing right there? That was what I was... Okay, I'll probably focus on that in a bit. For now, let me just do a little bit of looking around. For having, like, all this is vantage to see from. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's a Tarmigan flying by there. But what caught my eye was over this way. Okay, I see it now. You guys, it's going to maybe be it hard, but you can see Brown Bear right out there. It's going away from us. I could... So I'm able to spot that all the way out there, but there are plenty of other times where I've had better views of much closer and doesn't register at all. Okay... Yeah, see, I am hearing quite a bit over there, so I think I'll probably go for the ptarmigans more than anything else. It actually might be a better idea, as I'm trying to look around these areas, to only use the binoculars if I see something that stands out quite a bit. 
or there's something moving. Because otherwise it's going to slowly scanning up and down, trying to look for anything that really tunnel visions you. Yeah, I'm going to go for the ptarmigans. They are making so much noise. I think it should be much easier to get a couple of them. Oh, I've got another thing moving out there. <sighs> Looks like, oh, maybe I heard a reindeer. Looks like, is it just the pair or is there more? See, this is why the high ground is so advantageous to have. Looks like it's just a pair. Oh, and there's the brown bear again. No, oh, no, there's... See, none of the reindeer are actually looking... Oh, there might be one in that group that's pretty good. Although, again, because we're so far off... It's kind of hard to tell which one could be a male, so you know what? I think I'll focus on the ptarmigan. I don't know if they're in the trees or they're on the ground. Okay, we're definitely closing in on the birds. Yeah, there they go. Ah, one of the problems is... It's a little slow to move the uh, weapon around. Actually, is there a sensitivity option I can use to change that up? Uh, aim sensitivity... Wait, that's up? Okay, let me try... What is it the other way? Okay, I think that's faster... Just a little nitpick I do have to have about the sliders. Is that less and more or m less than more? Like, a little just plus and minus would help at the ends to figure it out. Because, like, let's say aim sensitivity is at that. And it's not too bad going like that. Now, what if I switch that to the other one? No, it just... Okay, I guess I that is the most sensitive. It just... Sometimes feels like it's not... As quick as it should be. I don't think... Oh. Okay, that one got it there. Yeah, there goes sliding down. Okay, I guess I just gotta get back into uh, being ready on the birds. Yeah, sometimes it feels like the it can be a bit slow turning with when you're zoomed in using the weapons. I just gotta get a little bit more uh, used to it again. Let's we'll see what this is, and then keep working our way along. We might have spooked some animals out with the shotgun blast, but we'll just see with time. Female? Actually, not too bad. 45 GM for the one female bird's pretty good. And now... Where might the reindeer have gone off to that we were watching? Oh. Gotcha. Ah, uh, there probably were a little bit more aside from just the one, but we'll see how this male stacks up, because I think the bright white coloration will be a bit of a clue to, like, the gender we've got. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, no, this is another female. 
41 again. Well, pretty close to what the other one was. I think it was 43. So I guess coloration doesn't always clue you in on what gender they are. Okay, but looking at the terrain and where we're positioned, I feel like the reindeer, I don't think they got pushed more east. They might have been pushed more south. And because this is like big valley-esque, eventually they're probably going to have to come down into the bowl a bit more. So I think if we just keep along this top area here, we might cross paths with more. I do just want to keep my eyes open for movement throughout the trees. Yeah, there's the brown bear tracks. Uh, the ptarmigan. But those, I think all you basically have to do is hear them and then... It's basically just going in towards the calls. Or the little chirps and noises they make. Okay, and then we'll... Yeah, that says fleeing. We're not really going to focus on tracking down the ptarmigan, though. I mean, because they can fly, how do you really track such things? No, oh, actually, I think I just saw one flying off over that way. Okay, so there's a brown bear again. Oh. oh man. I had no idea there was that big of a group just ahead of us, so... I gotta be quicker with getting that shotgun ready. Because we could have had a lot of good chances right there. But you guys can see that I pressed the wrong button and... Thought I was getting out the shotgun instead I was trying to reach for a sidearm that wasn't even there. You know what, I'll keep out the uh, bullpup just in case. I mean, on the one hand, I probably should be more ready for the birds. Actually, because of that sound, might as well be ready for the birds. Yeah, looking at this, I feel like if they got pushed, they either got pushed into that corner or more down to that upper area. Ooh, this is getting kind of... Oh, that's really steep. I don't think I want to go down that way, even if they... Uh, Tarmigan sound right at the bottom of that. I will keep out the shotgun just in case. I think I will have enough time if I do accidentally stumble upon that bear. I can switch out for the 7 mil and get a couple of shots in if needed. Okay, and this looks like where the reindeer were going down. Okay, so they might have actually gone down along here. Hmm. Here's the question. Do I stay down low and follow this along or go up? I think I'm going to go up. I can always cut down and that keeps me above and watching out for anything else. Might even be able to follow along and maybe the bear got sent up there rather than the reindeer. You know, I'm going to stand and go for a little bit of a walk right now. I don't think there's anything that's going to be too close in with us because of all the shots for the ptarmigans. And we'll cover ground a little bit faster this way too. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm probably just some birds flying around. I think I'm hearing. Let's just get ourselves higher up. Yeah, and that's just a rock up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just starting to see shapes that I want to see. Okay. It is quite possible with it being as high up as we are, nothing actually is up in this. Never mind. We've got some reindeer ahead. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of space still up here to go to, so... Uh, do I want to start pulling them out? Not yet. I think I'd prefer to get into a good spot to, like, get bearings from before trying to pull them in. Especially since I am down slope from them. Oh, there's mission complete. I'm not sure what the mission entirely entailed, but there it is. <laughs> And, okay, now we're getting to a better spot to try a call and see. Okay, it seemed to come from just somewhere over that direction. Kind of looking around. We've got a little bit of cover here with all the rocks and that. There is also quite a bit of distance between where the call came from and where we are. So I might be able to get us in a little closer. And there is also no guarantee that that was even a uh, male that huffed out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go completely low. Not going to move a muscle. I don't actually know if it saw me or not. Actually, let me just put that on. A little late for it, but oh, this actually might be a pretty, might be our a good male to start us off with for a reindeer. I just oh, right behind a tree. Figured that would probably be a lung shot, and it did seem to work one hit. Just seemed like he was perfectly lined up to hide the, like, heart shot, but... As I've advised before for you guys, lungs are a bigger and better target to go for. Now see, another one that has, like, the front little part broken off. I mean, the back sweeps look pretty good on it, but... It's just that front there broke. How do you stack up? This, yeah, definitely male. Eh, 45's not too bad, I don't think. And another mission already completed, too. Wow. Yeah, I'm curious how he would score if it wasn't for, like, the, uh... Ooh. Well, hey, if you want to look majestic, I'll take that, sure. Okay, let's... No, I'm trying to... Look, I know you're a nice-looking reindeer and all, but I'm trying to get me moving. No, the reindeer is supposed to be the main focus, not my dumb butt. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Yeah, I'm curious how he'd score if it wasn't for that part missing. Like, that's... One of the really neat things about the uh, true rack system the Hunter Games employ is they aren't like these really pre-generated specs for the antlers. They can have all kinds of configurations to them. 
You have some where there are parts broken or missing. There are some that are like irregular growth that ha could have double what they usually are. Uh, actually, is this, this might be from a different reindeer. Because like these tracks haven't gone away yet and we did collect him. Although with them being trotting tracks, that might be a sign... It might not have been a, one of the better scoring animals. Usually if they trot in towards a call, it's kind of a sign they aren't the smartest and usually means they're lower scoring. It's the high scoring animals that are the geniuses and know how to stay away from you. Oh yeah, there might... Oh, another track there. Might still be another reindeer out in these reaches. We'll just kind of keep looking around up here for a bit. Although we have actually reached our first episode's runtime. So we didn't end things off too badly. We've gotten a roe deer, a few ptarmigans, actually I think just two. A couple ptarmigans, reindeer, and a roe deer. Not a nice little variety for the star of our weekend, and with us glowing along more, I think I just saw another ptarmigan flying over there. We'll see what other animals we might get lucky with. But we are going to end this episode right here. Thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of our Hemeldahl Expedition series. If you did like the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.